What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more My Hero Academia. Today we're going to be starting with episode 34. I'm trying to do three episodes. Um, This is going to be late. I don't know when, what time you guys are going to get this because I'm actually doing this on the day that it was promised. So I don't, I'm not 100% sure if you're going to get this late Thursday night or early Friday morning like maybe midnight or something <laughs> so who knows whenever it's ready i'll put it out i have no specific time to put out it to put out these videos right now um because you know we're just trying to enjoy them but anyways man my real academia you already know i'm enjoying this anime to the fullest and i'm ready to go so um also if you're watching this um if you're watching this and you watch this intro um, this is first you're going to be hearing about this, but it is what it is. I'm going to be pushing Yu Yu Hakusho to Saturday because everything has been kind of off schedule this week after like Tuesday, everything got messed up. Um, everything got messed up because there was something that was supposed to be on my other schedule and then it wasn't. So I had to switch up. So I didn't get enough time. To do certain things and then I had to push some of the shows to Thursday and now it's Thursday so tomorrow I know for a fact I'm not going to get a chance to do Yu Yu Hakusho because I'm supposed to do Yu Yu Hakusho on Thursday so that I can get it out by Friday and I'm not going to be able to get to do it on Friday to put it out on Friday so it's going to be on Saturday okay so if you're watching this and then then you you you'll know <laughs> <laughs> whatever so let's go see man everything seems to be back to normal um everybody is back to school but we did learn some information in the last couple of episodes i think it was episode 33 that really piqued my interest um you guys you know was explaining it to me in the comments what i was supposed to understand so i do understand so thank you guys so much for that for those in um explanations okay so from my understanding um when it comes to one for all and all for one you know the main the, the difference is that um one can be passed on um i think both of them can be passed um i i think i think it seems like all for one in my opinion, all, all for one seems a lot more powerful than one for all. But the thing about one for all is, um, one for all is that when it's passed down, it can basically stock power. It can stock physical strength, right? So you can have other quirks along with it. So the relationship between these two over the years. You know what I'm saying? Is basically two brothers. One was basically born with a useless quirk. So he did have a quirk, but it was useless. And basically what he can do is basically pass <laughs> pass along quirk. Like he can he can pass quirks along. So um but it's basically um useless because if you don't have a quirk, how can you pass quirks? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it was weird. But anyways, the younger brother um, of this guy that has um, all for one, he felt sorry for his younger brother, gave him a quirk. And that was one for all. So as we go along, I'm going to get a better understanding of it. I want to sit here trying to explain this because I'm like babbling my words right now. Anyways, let's jump into these episodes, man, and go see what what if we get more information or less. Um, I think um All, All Might wants to tell Deku that he's dying, that he might not even live to see him fight the guy with All for One. So we'll see what happens down the line. It's gonna be a sad day if All Might passes before. It's gonna be real sad. Everybody gonna be sad. It's gonna be like, um, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's it's gonna be watching icon die i'm i'm pretty sure this might even affect endeavor even though he wants to act all tough and stuff you know he's a you know he has a little softy in him but anyway 
let's watch these episodes. See you guys for the review. All right, so here we are, man. Three episodes, three more episodes down, 34 through 36. Um, these three episodes were pretty cool. Now they're they're doing their midterms, which is cool. They did a written exam, and now they're in the practical exam. Now, is I, I like how they are highlighting certain characters, especially I think out of all the fights that we've seen, or all the exams taken. I mean, of course, Minata is gonna be the funniest. But also, I think Todoroki and um, Momo is her name. Um, I think that was the most interesting one because she really did lose confidence after getting beat during the festival. Um, but I think his name is Takayami, um, the one with Dark Shadow. Um, you guys need to let me know if he has arms. I wonder if he doesn't have arms. Like, it's weird that we never see his arms. I don't remember seeing his arms. So I don't know, <laughs> but any case, that was um yes. So Todoroki and Momo's fight, what I think was the most interesting one out of all of them, um that I saw. Um, so I'm gonna speak on that. Like confidence, you can base your confidence based on that. Like from what they were showing, you know, from what they were showing, I kind of understood where she's coming from and why her confidence dropped and it was so obvious she wanted to say something to Todoroki but it's but also Todoroki should have asked you are a team it's two people going up against one person that's probably more powerful than both of y'all you get what I'm saying especially going up against your teacher Aizawa you know what I'm saying you know he can erase quirks you should not have just said this is what we're gonna do blah blah you should have asked do you have any input do you you, you get what i'm saying you know what i'm saying what's your plan do you have any thoughts as a team if you're you know and i can tell you this from a business perspective you have to use what you have you can't just come in as the boss and be like this is what we're gonna do and that's it no other people are involved especially if somebody is helping you create and stuff like that like you have to ask them what is your idea what do you think we should do? They might have a better idea than you have. You know what I'm saying? They 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 might just have a better idea than you do. So you have to hear people out. If it's if it's a team effort, then it should be a team effort, right? So that was the most interesting. I'm glad maybe she gained some of her confidence back from that. I think I think most of the approval um I think most of the approval comes from Todoroki himself. You know what I'm saying? Saying to her, you know, um, you got two votes. One of them was mine for the for class rep. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought you were you were good enough to do it. So um, I don't know how true. Maybe he just said that so that you know because he understood what was going on with her. Like she didn't have the confidence in herself to make the decisions or come up with the plan. Like, maybe he said that just to get her out of the funk she was in. I don't know how true of it was, but we're going to go with it and say it was true. <laughs> you know, because people do do that. You know what I'm saying? You can lie to someone to get them out of a funk. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it's the best thing to do, but it is a thing that you can do. You know what I mean? Um, so that was very interesting to me. So the others, the other fights, I don't think they were as interesting. I think learn a little bit more about Froppy um, herself. Like I learned a little bit more about her. She's able to ingest stuff and actually ugh, bring it back up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool. That's also a characteristic of, you know, frogs. So it's not that out of line to say she would be able to do something like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, that she swallowed the handcuffs for such a time as as the trap they were in. Um, so, so yeah, pretty cool stuff, man. Pretty cool stuff. I'm enjoying this anime to the point where, you know, I wish I could do it every day, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but we have, I have to go with this schedule right now because right now I'm, I'm trying to, I'm going with things according to, to the other stuff that I do because I have to give that stuff time too so 
um we have a pretty we had a pretty good schedule this week but things got messed up from tuesday because there was something that was supposed to be on the schedule and it wasn't so something came up had i had to be where i was where i was i had to be there for longer than i expected so i didn't get home in time to do as much as i wanted to do that time so i had to kind of filter things out to other days so um as i said in the intro i am going to push you you haka show to saturday because i there's no way i'll be able to do that for friday so if you're watching this and you watch Yu Yu Hakusho 2 on the channel, just know that, okay? If you don't watch the review, it's too bad. You ask me, you ask me about it on Friday, that's the answer you're gonna get anyways. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, My Hero Academia is a very cool anime. I'm enjoying it so much. Thank you guys again. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. Your boy is out. Peace.